There are 19 suits in Spider-Man Miles Morales and I want to review them all in this video showcasing the special suit and visor mods that are linked to those suits as well. I will likely do a more traditional review later when I get my hands on the PlayStation 5 version of the game. But for now, I will share my opinion on all the suits that are available. Don't worry, there won't be any story spoilers in this video whatsoever. So I will of course showcase suits that you get at the end of the game. And one is even linked to the new game plus. But those suits will not reveal anything about the story. So a like on the video would really help the channel out. And let's go. You start the game out with the sportwear suit when swinging around with Peter early on in the game. It really got that homemade vibe that I dig and the hood but it's totally one of the least exciting outfits in the game. Luckily you do get an upgrade rather soon, the great responsibility suit that actually looks more like a traditional Spider-Man suit. Although I'm kind of missing the Miles vibes, but there will be enough outfits that do have that. And good to note is that the first and the second suit do not have a suit mod associated with them. And actually some suits later on will also not have a suit mod, but most outfits will. Just like the first suit you can craft at level 5, the actual homemade suit that has no part of an original Spider-Man outfit. And it gives the suit mods power pitcher that increases the damage of thrown objects. Because yes, Miles can of course grab things in the environment and throw them towards the enemy. The track suit is awesome. This is one of the pre-order suits. So with the pre-order you unlock it instantly. Otherwise you have to craft it at level 6. And I love the look of this one because of the black, red and white. Just it fits together very nicely. And it also gives that Miles vibe away that it was kind of talking about earlier if you love red though like me then you're in for a treat because a ton of outfits will focus on that color and crafting this suit will give you the fire mod that decreases damage from ranged attacks by 25 percent so it's not that exciting next up is the animated suit that is really unique compared to the ones we already had thanks to the super cartoony look as if miles jumped out of an animated tv show and by the way, that Into the Spider-Verse suit will come a little later. That also adds like a cool twist to it. But you can already get this animated suit on level 7 with the Stronger Webs suit mod that makes your webs stronger so enemies are longer stuck. We got the Academy suit on level 8 with the headphones but also a jacket making it kind of classy. It's not my favorite but I do like the combination of Spidey and a school uniform. And it's awesome that you got a backpack on you at all times. The air tricks are back and the Pfizer mod that comes with the suit gives you bonus Venom power for performing these air tricks. So you can do the new powerful abilities more often. Okay and now we reached one of my favorite suits in the game that you can wear after crafting it on level 9. And that's by the way also a cool part about this game. You unlock a new suit for almost every level up to 13 which is great. Like that is something I really liked about the original Spider game from Insomniac that you are constantly unlocking new cosmetics and that's once again the case in Miles Morales. Going back to the suit though because as I already said I love rats and also a hood and the crimson cowl suit has both. And I also really like the back of the suit which will of course see a ton so again this is one of my favorites and it comes with a Pfizer mod that enhances stealth gameplay. It namely makes sure that enemies cannot hear web strike takedowns anymore while you are camouflaged. The next suit is the strike suit. It kind of reminds me of the MK2 suit. It has the same eyes only now more black and with the added yellow colors and really the yellow arms steal the show here while swinging and walking around. Also like the MK2 suit for Peter, it's more BV for Miles, it's like an armor and it also kind of has a Dracula collar in a way. It comes with a Pfizer mod, Phantom Overclock, which means that you get more Phantom Power regeneration the lower your health. So careful with this on higher difficulties. And overall good to note is that you get Phantom Power back by hitting enemies with melee attacks and dodging incoming enemy attacks. And by the way the Phantom attacks are really awesome to pull off. They're way more AOE but just add a ton of nice variety to the overall combat. Now let's get a little darker because we also got a The End suit. 
from the The End comic that came out earlier this year. It doesn't make Miles older though, but it still gives him the awesome hood, boots and pants that I really dig. You get this at level 11 after crafting it and then it also unlocks the steady focus suit mod that lets you stay in the camouflage longer if you are not moving which is quite nice so you can be invisible for longer while you wait for the right moment to strike. On level 12 we can craft the Miles Morales 2099 suit with the glowing eyes that sets this one apart. I love the spider on the chest as well and the dark blue mask. And it has the sort of horns on the arms as well, just like the 2099 black suit from Peter. And the suit mod is quite nice against the rocks on enemies that you will encounter a lot. They can only do a suppression attack that makes the phantom powers unavailable. But with this mod, the duration is reduced. It can also use the camouflage to immediately get rid of the effect. And by the way, good to note is that the suit mods and the Pfizer mods work pretty much the same. Pfizer, of course, has to do with Miles' vision but they both give passive effects and you can equip two of each. So instead of having the suit powers, you now have four mods that change the gameplay up quite a lot. And to be fair, I think that's fine because of the new Phantom powers that Miles has in combination with the gadgets. So you already have many ways to take out enemies and also good to note is that there are suit mods and visor mods that are not linked to the suits so that you have to craft separately. And then on level 13, you can craft one of the most unique suits, the Into the Spider-Verse suit or actually you can unlock it immediately if you've pre-ordered the game. The huge eyes are of course awesome, the kind of gravity spider on the chest. But the suit mods and the fact that this outfit has two of them makes it the real standout. So one is called Vibe the Verse that adds the stuttering effect and obviously makes it feel more like the movie. Like on this car when doing moves and when performing finishers, you kind of have to get used to it a bit. I at least had that. But I immediately loved it while swinging around. And the cool part is that you can apply this suit mod to any other suit in the game as well. Or you can choose to not use it for the Into the Spider-Verse suit so it feels more like a regular suit. And you also got the Bam Pow Wham suit mod that as the name suggests adds this comic book effect to your moves. And once again, you can also add this to other suits. Like it doesn't make you stronger. It doesn't impact the gameplay. It's really more for fun or if you want like an ultimate challenge without any suit mods. But it does show you once again that Insomniac went the extra mile with these effects that totally changed the game up in a fun way. So that was the final suit that you unlock by leveling because the classic suit is next in the suit window and is unlocked from a main story mission. This is kind of that Miles 5 style that I was talking about earlier. Here you see him walk out of the subway because yes, on the PlayStation 5 version, load times are of course instant, but not in the PS4 version. They are kind of similar to the original game, but they still have the really fun subway ride coming scenes like I really love this one with the camouflage. Crimes are back too but this time you can easily track them via an app and then beat up some bad guys and use the sap slack suit mod from this classic suit. So that's the extra purple blast when you steal an underground weapon from the enemy and then throw them to another target. If you prefer the classic suit in gold, well then by completing all the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man activities you get this uptown pride suit. The color combination is quite different from the other suits, but it doesn't have a suit mod sadly. Still thought it was fun to swing around in this to change things up. The winter suit is cooler though, with the hat and the ear warmers and the scarf. You get this one from the we've got a lead side mission that is like halfway through the game. So totally keep an eye on that to already get in the Christmas spirit. It of course really fits the winter theme of this game. We got a ton of snow in New York and then swinging around like this. Really, really cool. As was announced before, Peter is not in New York. He's actually helping MJ somewhere else. But he still left challenges for Miles to complete. And if you actually complete all of them and then the side mission that follows you get the Miles Morales 2020 suit. This was already confirmed as well and it looks even cooler in the game. It got the Daft Punk style helmet, you got the earbuds, still a wire. That's not really 2020, but I do like the like sort of screen on the chest, very, very cool. And the jacket adds some cool extra style. It doesn't come with its own suit mods, but you can of course mix and match and add other suit mods to this outfit 
and when it's damaged you don't see the impact that much and that's by the way a new feature where after fighting in the main missions or other activities your suits will be damaged over time so then all the suits will have this damaged effect that then also repairs after a while by just swinging around and finding collectibles for example. So a pretty cool touch and the impact on the programmable matter suit is very noticeable. Like this is what it looks like without the damage. It's a very unique suit overall thanks to the patterns and the fact that the hands, feet and the back glow red. That looks very cool when doing content during night. Like it's a very cool suit to get and you get it for completing all the underground hideouts and rocks and laps. And then doing the matter up side mission. It doesn't have a suit mod. But it does have a very cool kind of secret finisher. That you sometimes pull off. Having these spider legs appear. It looks really really awesome. You likely already saw the cat named Spider-Man right. That you can then also take with you in a brand new suit. Called Bodega Cat Suit. You need to finish the campaign for this one. And then complete the cat's pajama side mission. And I'm of course reviewing all the suits here. But let's be honest. This one is really hard to beat. Because you constantly have a cat out of your backpack. That can also help you with a finisher sometimes. Which never gets old. The cat is glued to your backpack luckily. But you cannot take the backpack and use it on another suit. So you have to use this. Really casual, not that special suit. It also has no suit mods, but on the other hand, it has a cat. And not much more is needed. So again, you get it at the end of the game. So they can immediately hop into the New Game Plus mode to really enjoy this outfit. Like, New Game Plus is available at launch, which is great for the 2018 game. It was, of course, added later. And in the New Game Plus mode, you actually also have an exclusive new suit that you can only get there called the spider training suit. It's similar to the one we saw at the end of the City That Never Sleeps DLC with Miles trying to swing for the first time. I think that this is like an upgraded version of that. And it really looks like the ESU suit from Peter. It's a nice touch that you get this at the start of New Game Plus, but overall not a really big fan of the look. The suit mod is quite nice though. It lets you transfer a portion of unused camouflage energy to Phantom Power, so you can use those abilities more often. Okay, and then the final suit, that is kind of a spoiler. Again, no story spoilers in this video whatsoever, but this will hint at something for sure. So, I still want to warn you, of course, if you leave, don't forget to like the video, it would really help the channel out, and subscribe for more Miles Morales content. Okay, you're still here. Spoiler alert. By namely following the main story and doing a special mission chain, you will get in the end the purple rain suit with a very unique and maybe familiar color scheme for you. And with such a focus on red, it is really refreshing to have an outfit like this as well. Again, I'm not complaining, but still the variety is nice. It also comes with a suit mod called Reclaimer and that replenishes one gadget ammo when performing a melee stealth takedown on an enemy. So you can, for example, charge up those gadgets before heading into battle. Very nice. Subscribe for way more Spider-Man Miles Morales content if you haven't already. I cannot wait to play the game on PS5 as well. Like all the footage you saw here was from PS4 Pro. And of course they got the remaster as well that I want to try out. A like on the video would really help the channel out. Let me know your favorite suit in the comments down below. And don't check out my previous Miles Morales video by clicking on the screen. For now though, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.